good to see you. And I should come up right down. <laughs> Hi, Iris. How you doing? <laughs> So, uh, my name is Dale Anderson. Well, it's also Dale Anderson. And uh, I want to, I'm going to spend uh, the rest of the morning with you. Uh, before we look at what's on my heart to share with you, I just want to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I've been a teacher for about 30 years. Uh, partially in the public school system. Uh, and the last 12 years uh, as a Bible teacher here. Uh, I like to travel to the different nations of the earth. That seems to be a part of what the Lord has me doing. And I'm at a very interesting time in my life. My son is uh, 26. He's been married uh, two and a half years. He and his wife uh, had a baby. That makes me a grandpa. And I'm still too young to be a grandpa. <laughs> I'm 54, just so you know. That's still young. <laughs> and uh, my grandson's name is Jude. And uh, he doesn't look anything like my son or his mother. He is his own person. But he has the personality of my son when my son was that age. Always smiling. Always doing very busy. Very, very busy. But he lives over on the Pacific coast. So he lives too far away from me. <laughs> and then my daughter, she's 24. Since she was seven years old, I can close my eyes and picture the moment. Uh, she uh, she put her hands on her hips like this. She said, I'm going to be a cook. I'm going to be a chef. And I'm going to cook for little children. She's 24. And uh, two years ago, she finished her cooking college. Now she's working in a local restaurant. Her, uh, her bosses love her. So they keep giving her more money. <laughs> to keep her. And uh, so I've been eating my daughter's cooking since she was seven years old. And she just uh, moved into an apartment with her best friend. And the two girls, they work at the same restaurant. They're both cooks. So I only have two children. And neither of them live with me anymore. So all I'm left with is my house. My dog. And my wife. And fortunately, I like them all. And fortunately for me, my wife likes me too. 
so we、uh, we're looking at one another in this interesting time of life. So, in life, this interesting time of life, we're looking at one another in this interesting time of life. And、uh, I'm so glad. I'm very grateful. Over the years, 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 over the Uh, my wife and I, we fought for our relationship. 我跟我妻子，我们总是努力的持守我们的关系。We invested in one another. 我们将我们生命投资在对方身上。We spent time together. 我们常常花时间在对方的身上。And today, now, in this time in life. 那今天呢？此时此刻，生命的此刻。I'm really glad we did. 我很高兴我们过去有这样的投资。Because we really do love one another. 因为我们真的很爱对方。And I'm happy for that. 那我也为此非常的高兴。Uh, I've had friends in other jobs. 我有朋友呢，他们在别的行业里面。Not, not in ministry positions, but in other in the marketplace. 不是在呃、uh, 侍奉，不是在服侍，就在职场上工作的。Uh, I was a younger man, and they were older men. 那他们年纪比我呃、uh, 较长。And it was at this time in their lives that they lost their marriages. 那他们呢，往往是来到生命这个阶段的时候呢，就失去他们的婚姻。And、uh, they had not invested in their wives. Because 过去呢没有把生命投资在他们的妻子身上。So I'm happy today. 所以今天我很高兴。My children are doing well. 我的孩子们他们很过得很好。I have one house. 然后呢，我有这一个房子。One wife. 有一个妻子。One dog. 一只狗。One lord. 一个主。<laughs> One baptism. One、okay. one. One 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 one. I ask for your hand to minister to our spirits today. 主，我求你这手今天在我们的灵里动工。Father, I ask that you would draw us closer to yourself and closer to your Son. 主，我求你领我们更靠近你，更靠近你儿子。I ask, Lord, for the word of the Lord to gain entrance to our hearts. 主，我求今天你的话要进入我们心中。I ask, Lord, for your power and for your authority. In Jesus' name. From Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Part of my role here at the International House of Prayer and at the University. 在这个呃国际祷告店呢，还有国际祷告店大学，我的角色其中有一个部分是这样的。Uh, part of that responsibility, not just teaching, but is to lead a program which you've probably heard about. 就是呢，除了教课以外呢，还有带领一个课程，也许大家已经听过了。I、uh, I direct all the different international language schools programs. 就就是呢，我是负责指导各个国际不同语言的课程。Which、uh, the Chinese program is one of them. 那其中呢，就包含了这个中文课程。We're hoping to add Portuguese this this year. 期待今年我们可以加入这个葡萄牙语的。But the Chinese program is a solid program. And、uh, I'm encouraged by what I see. 我看到眼前所看到的非常鼓励我。But、uh, I wanna, I wanna give you an insight as an, as a brother in the Lord to you. 但是呢，身为一个主里的弟兄，我要从这角度给大家一些分享。I'm gonna tell you a little bit of my testimony. We're going to spend some time looking at one particular portion of Scripture today. 那今天早晨呢，特别要来看经文中的一段。And in telling my testimony, I'm making an offering to you. 那我用我的见证呢，好像一个奉献献上给你们。Because、uh, as I've taught the Chinese students, 因为呢，当我在教导中国学生的时候 ，I've seen so many different、uh, strengths、uh, of their soul, of their hearts. 我看见呢，在他们当中呢，他们心中有很不一样的长处。And I've seen one or two weaknesses. 那当然也看到一两个短处。And I want to share with you、uh, a common weakness that 
that I have fought with all my life. 那但是呢，我要跟大家分享一个，呃，我这一生常常在面对的一个软弱，也是好像大家都有的。That I've seen、uh, my Chinese students struggling with. 而我看见了我的中文学生呢，他们也在挣扎的。And I want to talk openly and honestly with you today. 并且呢，今天我要非常坦诚的来跟大家教导，与大家分享。I'm not trying to upset you. 但我呃不是要让你们觉得不高兴。I'm not trying to uncover your weaknesses. 也不是要来揭发你们的短处。I'm sharing with you a weakness of my own soul. 我是在跟你们分享我自己内心的软弱。And if it fits your experience. 但是呢，也许它跟你的经验相吻合。Then may it be helpful. 那也许就可以对你有帮助。And if I'm of the opinion that it does fit your experience, that's why I'm talking about it. 那也许呢，我的我的意见呢，也许对你的经验有帮助。Because I can relate to several of the aspects of this weakness. 因为呢，这个软弱呢，有一些呢是我自己也能够有共鸣的。So I'm going to talk about what what brings true security to our soul. 所以呢，今天早晨我要谈的呢，就是什么能够带给我们灵魂真正的安全感。And I'm going to talk about、uh, some of the things that bring insecurity to us. 然后呢，要来谈谈什么能够带什么会带给我们不安全感。And how do we overcome insecurity? 怎么样来胜过不安全感 ？By establishing true security in our lives. 怎么样借着建立真正的安全感来胜过不安全感 ？And face the challenge of God's perspective and God's way of bringing security and actually true trust to our lives. 并且呢，接受神的方式。是，就是神怎么样将真的呃安全感放在我们心里的方式，我们要来接受。Because security and trust go together. 因为呢，安全感呢跟信任是紧紧相连的。神要把真的安全感跟真正的信任带到我们的心里。Because to truly be secure, 唯有当你真正的很有安全感 ，you have to find security in God's way, or else there won't really be security. 就是呢，你要在神的方式、神的做法里面找到安。And because true security comes from trusting wholly in God, 但是呢，真正的安全感呢，是来自于你对神全然的信任。It involves trust. 所以这安全感需要信任。And how do we actually learn to trust God? 那我们怎么学会信任神呢 ？A person that we cannot see with our natural eyes. 是一个我们天然的肉眼看不见的这一位。Yet we sing worship songs to him. 我们常常向他唱敬拜的歌。We bow down, yet there's no idol in the room. 我们俯伏敬拜，可是没有个偶像在屋子里啊。We dedicate our lives and all of who we are to him. 我们把我们自己，我们全然所有献上给他。He cannot be seen, but he can be felt. 他我们看不见，可是我们感受得到。And how How is it possible that a man that cannot be seen but he can be felt? 那怎么有可能一个我们看不到的这一位，可是我们又感受得到 ？How is it possible? 怎么可能呢 ？That we can trust a person like that. 我们竟然能够信任一位像这样子看不到、感受得到的人。And he bring true security to our lives. 而他竟然能够把真正的安全感带进我们的生命里。You know, when we look at our natural homes. 当我们来看看我们天然的家。So our children and our fathers and mothers and those relationships. 就是呢，我们儿子女儿啊，父亲母亲的这些关呃家庭的关系。Early on in life, we are very vulnerable. 那其实我们生命的早期，我们是非常无助的。We're born weak and vulnerable. 我们一生下来就是很软弱、很无助的。We have to be cared for. We have to be loved. We have to be nurtured. 我们需要有人来照料，我们需要有人来爱我们，需要有人来喂养我。And it's that process that a child learns trust and security, or they do not. 而就是在这个过程里面呢，这个孩子就学会了信任，学会了安全感。不然呢，也有可能他就不呃呃呃失去这个感受。I mean, these are common understandings that we have. 这是我们一般都有的理解。And we see that as a as a person grows and develops. 我们看到当一个人在成长不断的发展的过程中。That that care and that love is to continue. 他得到的这个爱跟照料会继续不断。But as they mature as individuals, 然后呢，到他们呃进到了成熟 ，and grow into adulthood， 成为呃成为了成人 ，that trust and that security has to take a different form. 这个信任呢，这个安全感呢，开始用另外一种形态。And so we step out as an adult. 
Now having our own children and have to bring that trust and security to the next generation. It's so funny. <laughs> My son called me last week after I had visited him. And, and I got home and he said, Oh dad, he called me. He said, I, I was so glad you came to see us. It was so wonderful to have you in our home. I so enjoyed feeling like your son again. I said, well, you're still my son. It's that just that you have your own son. And he said, oh, dad. I totally get it now. So many things I didn't understand. I was wondering why you would do this or why you would do that. And now I have Jude, my own son. Oh my God, Dad, I get it now. This is, he said, I'm so afraid many days. I said, good for you. I said, that's honest. That's honest. I remember many days like that. Not having any idea the best way to relate to you. Many days feeling weak as a father. And I just didn't know who to talk to about those weaknesses. I said, at least now as you're 26, you're asking those questions. I didn't start asking those questions till I was in my late 30s and 40s. I said, good for you. He said, this is terrible. I said, yes. But it's glorious. Because you get to lean into your relationship with God. And we started having this discussion. And uh, it came down to one question. He said, Dad, he says, I have to be honest with you. Uh, you were a good father to me. He said, you weren't perfect. You always admitted your mistakes. He said, but that's not the way it's been for my friends. And I said, tell me about that. He said, one of the greatest, most powerful negative influences on my friends is the culture of shame in which they were raised. He said, you never shamed me. You never motivated me by fear. You never made me feel stupid when I had questions that I didn't understand. He said, the culture of shame in our home was, he says, I don't, I don't remember touching it. And I began to weep. Because I was so glad. Because my perspective was I had raised him with shame. <laughs> but he can't remember, he can't recall an incident where he felt shame. And I saw such a big miracle in that. Because I was raised and motivated by shame. Do you understand what I mean by shame? There's a good shame and there's a bad shame. And or another way I call it is there's a good shame and there's a toxic shame. 
The good shame is better called guilt or or conviction of sin, something that we've done wrong. 那好的羞愧感呢，我们也许可以称它是呃罪疚或者是呃畏罪呃的一个一个呃呃畏罪感到愧疚。And that kind of shame never threatens our personal being. 但是呢，这样子的羞愧感呢，不会威胁我们本身这个呃，我们这个人。It's not toxic because it's telling us that our behavior is incorrect. 它不会带给我们毒害，因为它只是在告诉我们的行为错误。And so it's trying to correct our behavior. So, 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 so Is a mistake and is a problem. This 告诉你，你这个人本身是错误，你这个人本身就是一个麻烦。It takes one step closer. 那你如果再多走一步 ，and tells you that you are bad. 事实上就是告诉你这个人很糟。Not your behavior. 呃，不只是你的行为，是你这个人就是很糟。And this、uh, was the way I was raised. 那这就是我被养大的方式。I was constantly challenged, not just with my behavior. But that I was bad. 而是呢，要面对呢，我的存在就是不好。Now we have some biblical content to deal with that. I'm not going to talk about that per se. 那呃，当然我们有很多的经文能够来讨论这部分。今天我们没有要来谈这部分。But I'm in a time and a season in my life where I'm evaluating certain things. 但是呢，在我生命当中，当我开始来评估一些事情的时候。And as I look at the toxicity of negative shame. 当我来看这个呃这个负面的羞愧感，它所带来的毒害。And how powerful an influence it is on people. 然后看到它对人们所带来多大的影响。I recognize why it is so difficult for people to trust their leaders. 于是呢，我明白为什么要人们来信任他们的领袖这么的困难。And why it's so difficult for people to trust the Lord eventually. 为什么以至于要人来信任主、信靠主是这么的难 ？I don't know about you. 我不想。But within my lifetime, 但是呢，在我的生命当中 ，the Christian church has become so independent from Jesus, from God. 教会呢已经变得非常的独立，就是从神对神的信靠独立出来。It's trying to satisfy its own desires in its own way with its own wisdom. 就是呢，想要用自己的方式，用自己的智慧来满足他们自己的需要。Or it has become so authoritarian. 或者呢，变得这么的呃权柄。That it doesn't even reflect the heart and the nature of God at all. 到一个程度呢，完全没有办法反映出神的心意跟神的属性。And as I step back and look at the many different Christian communities I've interacted with, 当我呢呃退呃退一步，我来来看这些。There are two common elements, negative elements that I see growing and developing with great power and strength. 我看见呢，现在在整个基督基督团体的基督徒团体当中呢，有两个负面的这个呃元素呢，正在大大的成长。I see toxic shame. 一个就是呢，有毒害的呃有害的羞愧感。Flourishing. 而且是不断的在扩展。Shame on you for not da 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 for not doing what I tell you to do. I mean, 你这这这样子没有做好，我真的是以你为耻，就是让很负面的羞愧感。And I see an independent spirit flourishing. 另外呢，我看见呢，就是那个独立的灵，要不依靠主那种独立的灵，也不断的在成长。In the church. This is my life. I get to do with it what I want. This is my life. I get to do with it what I want. This is my life. I get to do with it what I want. This is my life. I get to do with it what I want. This is my life. I get to do with it what I want. This is my life. I get to do with it what I want. This is my life. I get to do with it what I want. This is my life. I get to do with it what I want. This is my life. I get to do with it what I want. This is my life. I get to do with it what I want. This is my life. I get to do with it what I want. This is my life. I get to do with it what I want. This is my life. I get to do with it what I want. This is my life. I get to do with it what I want. This is my life. I get to do with it what I want. This is my life. I get to do with it what I want. This is my life. I get to do with it what I want. This is my life. I get to do with it what I want. This is my life. I get to do with it what I want. 在呃，感觉好像每一个人独立的呃，这个很很丰盛的各自的独立性里面。We're isolating ourselves. 事实上呢，我们把自己孤立出来。And we wonder why we have so many lonely people. 然后呢，我们在还在想为什么有这么多人觉得寂寞。Because I'm looking at a lot of lonely people. 因为呢，我现在常常看到很寂寞的人。Now this is my perspective. 那这是我的观点。I don't think. You know, this—it's not—it's not just negative things that I see. 
那当然，我看到也不只是负面的事情。I see a church praying more than at any other time that I've known in church history. 我也看到呢，教会现在的祷告呢，是在我所知道的教会历史里面是最多的时刻。I see the Holy Spirit answering those prayers often. 而且呢，我看到圣灵时常的在回答这些祷告。I see hunger in many people's eyes. 我也看见在许多人的眼中有新的渴慕。True hunger for God. 是真正的对神的渴慕。But as I as I look at these things. 但是呢，当我来看呃刚刚这些事情。I'm thinking,、uh, Lord, what are you doing? 我就问说主啊，你在做什么 ？And I was asking these questions、uh, earlier this year in the month of February. I was in Egypt. 今年呢，在呃，在这个呃呃二月的时候，当时我在埃及，我在问神一个问题。And I had one of those days, you know, where where it's just one of those strong prayer times with the Lord. You know, just the Lord is present and you feel Him speaking. 你知道有时候呢，你的祷告生活就是那段时间非常的丰富，然后你觉得呃，你祷告受神同在，且神对你说话。And he started to talk to me from Hebrews chapter twelve. 那当时我就是在这个情况，那主就跟我说希伯来书十二章。So I'm going to give you a couple of verses. 所以呢，今天大家我们会看呃两段经文。Kind of talk about, give some definitions, and then I want to go to a very specific、uh, section of scripture. 先给你们呃一个定义，然后我们再进到呃另下一段经文。Uh, he told me in Hebrews twelve. 主在希伯来书十二章告诉我。Starting in verse twenty six. 在十二章的二十六节，他告诉我。He said.、Uh, He says, "I'm coming to shake the earth again." He said, "I'm coming to shake the earth again." He said, "I'm coming to shake the earth again." He said, "I'm coming to shake the earth again." He said, "I'm coming to shake the earth again." He said, "I'm coming to shake the earth again." He said, "I'm coming to shake the earth again." He said, "I'm coming to shake the earth again." He said, "I'm coming to shake the earth again." He said, "I'm coming to shake the earth again." He said, "I'm coming to shake the earth again." He said, "I'm coming to shake the earth again." He said, "I'm coming to shake the earth again." He said, "I'm coming to shake the earth again." He said, "I'm coming to shake the earth again." He said, "I'm coming to shake the earth again." He said, "I'm coming to shake the earth again." He said, "I'm coming to shake the earth again." He said, "I'm coming to shake the earth again." He said, "I'm coming to shake the earth again." He said, "I'm coming to Shaking globally. 那我想起来呢，在二零零八年呢，我们有一个全球的这个经济的震动。We still been trying to recover from that. 事实上，我们现在还在从这个经济震动里面恢复。And and I hear clearly yet once more. 但我听见主很清楚的说，再一次。And I felt this grace of Holy Spirit talking to my heart. 那我感受到呢，圣灵呢，从神来的这个恩恩惠，圣灵正在对我的心说话。He said, "Take the dollar bill out of your pocket." 他说呢，把你这个口袋里的这个钱拿出来。I thought, "Oh, I do have a dollar." 就一块钱的拿出来，还好我正好一块钱的纸钞。He says, "Look at the back." 主说，你看后面。He said, "You see that phrase, 'In God we trust.'" 他说呢，你有看见后面有一段话，就是 "In God we trust." 我们信信靠神吗 ？I said, "Yes, Lord." 我说主，我看见了。He said, "I'm coming, starting in 2015, to test that phrase." 主说呢，我要在二零一五年来来测试，用这用测试这段话。I said, Lord, I don't think we can take another money hit. 我说主啊，我们可能没有办法再经历任意再一次的经济危机。He said, No, it's not about money. 主说呢，啊不，不是跟钱有关。He said it's about that phrase. 是关于这一句话。He said that's a phrase. That's a statement of government. 这本来是政府的一个声明。He says I'm coming to test the government of people's lives. 所以呢，主说呢，我要来来测试这些在政府里面这些人的生活。How do they govern their in Individual lives. 还有呢，每一个人各自怎么样治理做自己生命的政府 ？Called self-control. 呃，就是怎么样的自我控制 ？How do they govern their church lives? 还有他们怎么样做教会的政府？怎么样治理教会 ？How do they govern their nation? 他们怎么样治理他们的国家 ？How do they govern their relationship? 他们怎么治理他们的关系 ？He says, "I'm coming to test that phrase." 主说呢，我要用这句话来测试这每一个领域。Do men and women truly trust my leadership? 人们是不是真正的信靠、信任我的带领 ？When I shake things, 当我来震动。Can they still trust me? They are still trusting me. I'm coming to see if they're truly secure. I want to see if they have true security. Because here's the deal: we all know this. The thing is like this: we all know this. In times where there's peace and there's safety, is when people are very safe and very peaceful. Have you ever noticed how bold we get? You will find that we are very bold. Oh Lord! Oh Lord! I will go to the cross with you. 
Jesus is right there. I will never forsake you. We're bold when the Lord's around. But when He's the author of the shaking, and the ground under our feet shakes, and the things that we put our security in begin to crash to the ground and fall to the ground. Because we're calm, we're human beings. And we would like to think that we put all of our security in Christ. But we actually find out the real truth when the ground begins to shake under our feet. Nay, Paul has just faced this. Multiple earthquakes. And I was sitting in the airport the day after the first earthquake hit. And I saw the picture on the front cover of the Washington Post. An entire temple building in rubble on the ground. The dominant idol in that temple broken in pieces. And you would have thought that my heart heart would have been yes <laughs> and my heart was not going yes my heart was going oh no because what idols in my life exist that when the Lord comes and shakes my life what is going to be in pieces on the ground at my feet Am I truly secure? Do I truly trust his leadership? These are questions that I was being asked. When I was in Egypt, the Lord uh, gave me a very clear uh, chapter in the book of Psalms. You know it very, very well. Uh, in Psalm 91, in Psalm 91, it's a psalm that I taught my, my children know this psalm by heart. <laughs> I made them memorize it. I, I paid the money. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, come on. No. You're going, what are you talking about? Like, no, there's a reward. They're learning the word of God. They were just little. So you have to make that reward real. So my son, I gave him money. My daughter, I gave her candy. And they both loved it. And within one week, Week, they had both learned the chapter. <laughs> they could quote it to you. My daughter got a big bag of candy. And my son got a lot of money. And he, and he said, he's a businessman, he said. He was seven years old. When can we do this again? I said, well, I'm not that rich. <laughs> I wanted them to know there's a reward. In Psalm 91, he who dwells in the secret place of the Almighty. See, it's about where you're going to take up residence. Where are you going to dwell? What are the thoughts you're going to dwell in? What are the thoughts you're going to allow to control your mind? And it talks about taking up residence under the in the secret place of God. And I I recognized that day. As he tested my life, I started getting emails coming into my email. Account. I was going, ah! 
Each email was. Trouble here, trouble there. Wife saying this, friends saying that. And within 20 minutes of that discussion with the Lord, I had experienced enough shaking that I was crying out, Stop! 当我在求说听啊听啊，我感受到主的呃这个不可震动的主。And they were just email. 可是这些其他震动我的不过就是电邮而已。Just email. 不过就是电邮。I wasn't looking at my bank account. 我根本还没看我银行的账户。I was just getting emails. 只是电邮从人来的电邮。And my life was. 我的生活就被震动。Ah. I began to recognize. Oh, really? <laughs> really, do I trust in you? So, I really have faith in you, Lord. Can I trust in your leadership? I really can trust in your leadership. I began to ask the, the questions just started coming up out of my heart. So, I began to ask the questions just started coming up out of my heart. See, when your life gets shaken. It's the questions that you have hidden in your heart that come out. So, when your life is shaken, you will start to have questions in your heart. Not the boldness of your words when you feel secure. Not the boldness of your words when you feel secure. Not the boldness of your words when you feel secure. Not the boldness of your words when you feel secure. Not the boldness of your words when you feel secure. Not the boldness of your words when you feel secure. Not the boldness of your words when you feel secure. Not the boldness of your words when you feel secure. Not the boldness of your words when you feel secure. Not the boldness of your words when you feel secure. Not the boldness of your words when you feel secure. Not the boldness of your words when you feel secure. Not the boldness of your words when you feel secure. Not the boldness of your words when you feel secure. Not the boldness of your words when you feel secure. Not the boldness of your words when you feel secure. Not the boldness of your words when you feel secure. Not the boldness of your words when you feel secure. Not the boldness of your words when you feel secure. Not the boldness of your words when you feel secure. Not the Uh, there's so. I mean, the emails that came into my account in those 20 minutes were so filled with shame. 在这二十分钟里收到的电邮，他们带给我很多的羞愧感。People trying to use shame to motivate me. 因为人们呢喜欢用羞愧感来来这个发动我。Trying to use shame to stop me from doing something. 或者呢用羞愧感来阻止我不要做什么事情。Toxic shame to try and get me to do something. 这种有毒的羞愧感呢，就是要让你操控你去做一些事情。Shame, shame, shame. 羞愧，羞愧，羞愧。I just thought God. And suddenly, my heart is fighting. 然后呢，我的心开始征战。I don't believe the shame. 我不是不相信，不不不接受羞愧感这一套的。But it's connecting to the soreness or the bruise of my soul. 但是呢，我灵里面有一些伤害，有一些有一些苦苦苦酸的地方。And I'm caught in the middle. So I was caught in the middle. If I don't do what this person is telling me to do, if I don't do what this person is telling me to do, they will think A, B, C. 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 They will think So, I have in the middle. So, I have so many thoughts in the pressure, by shame, 就被这个羞愧感呢，呃，呃，有有压力。And and the the thing that I had to face. 那我必须要面对的。Is that there was an open door to my soul? 就是呢，原来在我的灵魂呢有一个门。That because I was constantly raised in shame. 因为呢，我是不断的在羞愧感里被养大的。I was actually beginning to think. That the shame that was touching my life is the truth about my life. So, 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 The way people think or what people do. I don't know how you control that. 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 I don't know how you control Was my own thinking about myself. So, so, I want to stop my own thinking about myself. I'm not a good leader. I'm not a good father. I'm not a good husband. I'm not a good wife. I'm not a good mother. I'm not a good son. I'm not a good daughter. I'm not a good son. 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 I'm not a good son.
I should just quit. 我放弃好了 I'm tired anyways. 我好累啊 So maybe it's a good time to go on a sabbatical. 可能呢，哎，可以有一个安息年也差不多该有了 Well, I still love my wife. 我还是很爱我妻子 So I can't take a sabbatical from my wife. 那所以呢，我也不能够离开我妻子去放安息年假。那那那那。想来想去想。The weird things that we think. 我们就有很多这种奇奇怪怪的想法。And I was crying out, Lord, how how can I follow you? So, 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 But I need what's in my mind to touch my heart. 但是呢，我需要我呃脑袋知道的现在来触摸我的内心。See, in the end, you and I are finite. 你知道，你跟我呢，终究只是会完工的。This is sorry. This is just all you get. 那你你有的其实就是就是这这一套了。God is not finite. He's infinite. 啊，对不起，我们是有限，但神是无限的。So God's infinite. You and I are finite. 所以呢，你我就是这么有限，但是神是无限。But I don't know about you, but here's what I've discovered in our finite world. 那我在我们这个有限的世界里面呢，我有这样的发现。In just in our finite world. 就是呢，在我们这个有限的世界里。There are people who are stronger. 有一些人。People who are weaker. So even though we're all finite as human beings, 所以呢，虽然人类我们都是有限的 ，there's always somebody who's got more money. 但是呢，总是有一些他们钱会比较多一点。Somebody who's got more influence. 就是有一些影响力多一点。Somebody who's got more anointing. 有一些恩膏就是多一点。More wisdom. 或是智慧多一点。There's always somebody who's got more. 总是有人会是多一点的那些人。And so, can I just say something obvious, but what we don't really want to hear? So, is it possible to allow me to say something very obvious, but what people don't want to hear? The world is not equal. Is it possible to say something very obvious, but what people don't want to hear? The world is not equal. Is it possible to say something very obvious, but what people don't want to hear? The world is not equal. Is it possible to say something very obvious, but what people don't want to hear? The world is not equal. Is it possible to say something very obvious, but what people don't want to hear? The world is not equal. Is it possible to say something very obvious, but what people don't want to hear? The world is not equal. Is it possible to say something very obvious, but what people don't want to hear? The world is not equal. Is it possible to say something very obvious, but what people don't want to hear? The world is not equal. Is it possible to say something very obvious, but what people don't want to hear? The world is not equal. Is it possible to say something very obvious, but what people don't want to hear? The world is not equal. Is it possible Purchase us back for God. He did nothing regarding equality. 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 He did nothing reg
你就是在骗人。Love you. 我爱你，我还是爱你。We do that all the time. 我们常常听到这种情况。We subjugate ourselves in a situation where God is not asking us to subjugate; He's asking us to stand shoulder to shoulder, peer to peer. 我们呢，常常呢，就把自己自动屈服在什么人的底下，但是呢，神并没有要我们这样，神是要我们跟这个人肩并肩一起来前进。But 但是呢 ，We also have this issue. 我们也有这样的问题。That Jesus always subjugated himself to the will of the Father. 就是呢，耶稣他常常使自己屈服在天父的这个意志底下。It's like this mystery. 这好像一个极大的奥秘。Paradox. 这是一个呃似是而非的一个一个概念。Next verse. You know the story well. 下一节经文大家都很知道这个故事。Matthew chapter eight. 下一段经文马太福音第八章。Jesus is ministering in Capernaum. 耶稣在加百农服侍。Ministry, ministry, ministry, ministry. 不断的服侍，服侍，服侍，服侍。Blah blah blah. 服侍。Right. And a centurion comes to him. 有一个百夫长来找他。The centurion, he is the leader of soldiers in the Roman army. 那这个百夫长呢，是罗马军队的这个呃呃这个呃长官。And he asks Jesus to heal his servant. 他就求耶稣来医治他的仆人。So Jesus is in ministry mode. 那当时的耶稣正在这个服侍的状态。Ministry, ministry, ministry. 不是不是。Okay, let's go. 那好，我们去吧。耶稣说。And the centurion goes, stop. Wait, 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 wait. 我们长说不不不不不。No, no, 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 no. 不用不用不用。I get it. 我已经得到了。You're a man under authority. He sees Jesus as finite. But see that sees that he's subjugated to whatever authority that's above him. Just like me. I'm a centurion. I'm under my authorities. And I have men under me. I tell them to go or to come and they obey. I'm told to do this or that and I obey. You don't have to come to my house. I'm not worthy to have you in my house. But I get how you are. Just stand in your authority. Because you're under authority. Speak the word. And it'll happen. I totally get it. And Jesus goes. Not really that way. He says, "I've not found faith in all of Israel like this." Jesus said, "I've not found faith in all of Israel like this." Jesus said, "I've not found faith in all of Israel like this." Jesus said, "I've not found faith in all of Israel like this." Jesus said, "I've not found faith in all of Israel like this." Jesus said, "I've not found faith in all of Israel like this." Jesus said, "I've not found faith in all of Israel like this." Jesus said, "I've not found faith in all of Israel like this." Jesus said, "I've not found faith in all of Israel like this." Jesus said, "I've not found faith in all of Israel like this." Jesus said, "I've not found faith in all of Israel like this." Jesus said, "I've not found faith in all of Israel like this." Jesus said, "I've not found faith in all of Israel like this." Jesus said, "I've not found faith in all of Israel like this." Jesus said, "I've not found faith in all of Israel like this." Because I love you and want you to experience my love. Because I love you and want you to experience my love. Is that what he said? Jesus is 这样讲吗 ？Come on, this is a test. This is 考试要回答。Jesus said, "Yes, you're right. 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 You're He said, "A new kingdom is here." 一个新的国度来了。Kingdom means three things to me. 当讲到国度呢，对我来讲三个意义。Every kingdom has a king. 每一个国度都有一个国王。That's real obvious, isn't it? 这是很明显的嘛。Wow, Dale, you had to go to school to learn that. Okay. Every kingdom has a king. 每一个国度都有国王。Every king has a piece of property or land to govern and to rule. 那每一个国王呢，都有领地，他要来掌管，要来治理。It's the space of his kingdom, the land. 那所以呢，就是在他的这个呃领地之内，他统管。And every king has people to lead, to rule, to protect, to govern. 然后呢，每一个国王呢，他都有他的子民，他要来带领、来保护、来管理。And so when Jesus came and said, "A kingdom is here." 所以呢，当呃耶稣来说天国在这里 ，And I'm the king. 
At least that's what my father has told me. I'm going to be the king. Now let's think of that for a minute. Now when kings, uh, uh, you know, they're born into a royal line. Have you noticed that in kingdoms you don't vote for your leaders? Have you noticed that about kingdoms? The people don't get to vote for who their leader is. <coughs> I'm, I'm thinking of that on multiple levels. Let's do some logic and then we'll come back to our story. Here's some basic logic. Jesus is the king of a kingdom. He's returning to the earth. We don't know when, but we know he's returning to the earth as a king of a kingdom. So let's do the logic. Let's do the math. What does that mean for the democracies of the earth? Don't throw stones at me. Just do the math. Oh, well, Jesus, he likes democracy. So he'll just have many different government types on the earth. Okay. Many different government types under his kingly leadership. Okay, I just thought I'd say that, and now we'll come back to the story. We need to do the math. We need to do the logic in this. Jesus never once broke from the leadership of his father. He never independently decided to do what he wanted to do. Never has. Never will. Never will. So as I'm considering these things, I'm saying, Lord, how do I build true security of my life? And I recognize that true security also is connected to trust. And I was shocked at where he led me. He led me to uh, the book of Revelation. And all the different songs that are in the book of Revelation. We call them the hymns of Revelation. I was shocked. And he started talking to me about adoration, the difference between adoration and intercession. And specifically about adoration, he wanted me to use these songs to sing over my heart in adoration. And he said, if you do this, I will develop true security in your soul. And these songs will help you trust me and my leadership. I didn't fully get it. It seemed a little bit strange. But now that I've been doing this for a while, I can honestly tell you, it's having the effect that he said it would. Three things are happening. My trust in Christ and his leadership is growing. 
I don't mean just in my mind. I'm talking about in my soul. But therefore, my heart is getting more secure as a man. I'm standing firm under attack. More than at any other time in my life. And mostly, my heart is being washed of toxic shame. And I'm really enjoying that. I'm really enjoying it. That he's washing away. Toxic shame. I'm so happy that he's doing that. <coughs> Adoration has three phases to it. Adoration is different. Adoration is another way of saying worship. Adoration is different than intercession. Intercession, that's really simple to understand. We ask God to do something on the earth. Whether in our life or somebody else's life, it's intercession that asks him to do something. Adoration is different. Adoration is you and I declaring the truth of the nature and the character of God. Whether we speak it, whether we sing it, matters not. Doesn't matter the method. But adoration is declaring the worth, the value, the nature, the character of God. We do that mostly when we worship. We're thanking Him for who He is. In adoration, there are three components that He revealed to me, that He showed me. Number one, gratitude or thankfulness. So in adoration, I thank him for who he is. I express gratitude that he's merciful, that he's kind, that he's gracious. That's my first step. Thank you, Lord. You are infinite. Everything comes from you. I am finite. I need your help. Thank you. This is what you're like. The next thing I do, next component is agreement. I have learned that it's not just enough to thank him for who he is. We need to agree with him that's what he's like. We need to come into agreement. You can be thankful that he's a judge. And not agree that he should judge. Pick any any area of his nature and character. It's possible to be thankful. But not everybody agrees. Walking in agreement means unity, union. It means we're willing for him to impart that aspect of his nature into us. Boy. It's like thankfulness. Next level. Agreement. Oh, man. And then the third level. Asking for more. Give me more revelation about this. Show me more. These are the three things, three aspects of adoration. 
Okay, I'm going to take the last few minutes looking at a specific song that I've been singing. Kind of talk it through with you as to how it's developing security and trust in my soul. But let's consider this for a minute. He's the king of a kingdom. You're born into a kingly line. You're not you're not appointed or elected. The day that Jesus was born, they hailed him as king. But he was a baby in a manger, vulnerable. So even Jesus had to do the natural process of growth and development as kings do. Prince Charles in England. He's an older man now. But he was born into a family line. Waiting for the day that his mother would pass. And he would be crowned king. He could die before her. It's getting all so old. I don't know. But he had to be educated. He had to be trained. He had to be trained in protocol and understanding as a king, preparing him for the day that he would be king. And so for every leadership position, there is a qualification process. Especially in God's kingdom. He takes men and women through a qualification process. That process could be short, long, it's up to God. And the qualification process for Jesus, the Son of God, was to leave his father's side as a member of the Trinity come into a human body through the natural processes of life and grow and develop and then walk out leadership with 100% obedience never break from his father's leading never choose his own independent way of doing things completely obedient with complete trust that he knows what his father's doing and that growth and development that qualification process we see recorded for us in the Gospels and so when we look at Revelation chapter 5 this is the culmination of what we've seen in the Gospels and in Revelation chapter 5 we are given why he has qualified and passed the test of the qualification process and because he's passed the test of the qualification process he's demonstrated himself to be trustworthy in leadership qualified to lead and therefore given the reward of actual leadership and in Revelation chapter 5 in this song we are told why he is worthy to be considered king and we are told what he did to qualify 
We're going to look at specifically verses 8 to 10. But let's consider this chapter just a little bit before we look at those verses. John is standing before the throne in heaven. He sees the Father on the throne with a scroll in his hand. And the cry goes out, who is worthy to come and take the scroll of leadership of the earth? Who has qualified? Who can be trusted? That the moment they receive this scroll, they won't lose their character. They won't be overbearing and authoritarian. But neither will they be weak and passive. And so the question goes out. And verse 3 tells us there is no one on the earth that was found worthy. And John begins to weep because who's going to take leadership? Who's worthy? Who's qualified? And an angel begins to speak to John. Don't worry. And it gives Jesus different titles. It tells us that the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David. So we all go, awesome, Lion. Right? Root of David, whatever that is. Right? And then John turns to see who it is. And he sees a lamb. So the title is Lion of the Tribe of Judah. But the picture, the revelation, the actual manifestation is a lamb. What in the world? And the angel continues to explain to him. And then in verse 8, he sees this song begin. He sees the living creatures and the elders and the angels. That they fall down before this lamb. That he takes the scroll. That they declare the value and the worth of this lamb. It says that the, the bowls are full of incense, which represent the prayers of the saints. It says that they have harps, so there's music, there's singing. There's this aspect of adoration going forth. Thank you, God. There's someone worthy. Yes, God, we agree with your choice. And reveal more to us about him. Reveal who he is. Tell us his name. He's a lamb. He's the lion. He's the root of justice. But tell us his name. And it goes on in verse 9. And this is where I want to look at intensely in the next few minutes. It declares we know it to be Christ. It declares that you are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seal. This scroll is a document. With wax seals on it. And in order to, as you know, in the ancient days, in order to read the document, you have to break the wax seal. We know from chapter 6 that each wax seal being broken actually represents a judgment of God on the earth. So think of that for a minute. 
所以你来想一下。Put yourself into that situation. 如果你在呃就在那个景况里的话。You've got leadership of the earth. 你现在拿到了全地的领导权。You've got a scroll in your hand. 你手上有书卷了。And you need to read the scroll in order to implement this plan from the Father. 那你要读这个书卷，你才能够把从父来的计划执行在地上。Because it's in your heart to be obedient to the Father. 那因为你的内心呢，就是要来顺服天父。And yet you know that every time you break Break a wax seal. 可是呢，你也知道，每一次当你一打破一个蜡印 ，it represents obedience to the Father. 那每一次都是一个对天父顺服的举动。But trouble for the people of the earth. 但是呢，却会带给全地的人麻烦。Now I don't know about you. 那我不晓得各位的情况。But this is where most presidents or prime ministers on the earth would start to lose sleep. 但是呢，这是地上首相或总统在这里呢，他们是最绝对不会想要这么做的。Every leader. Faces an impossible moment like this. 每一个领袖呢，面都会面面对这个情况，都是很难以处理的。This is the right thing to do. 就知道这是对的事情，该做。But if I do this, it's going to have an impact on people. 但是如果我做这件事情的话呢，会对呃百姓有一些影响。And when we think of, for example, think of,、uh, think of the American president, President Obama. 那我们来想想，呃，譬如用美国总统奥巴马总统来思考好了。Just, just forget about things that he's done. Just let me give you a picture of his life right now. 我们先不要想他做了哪些事情，我们先思考一下他生活的状态。Six, seven years ago, when he was first elected. 你要呃，我们来看看他六年前刚被选举的时候。If I showed you a picture of Barack Obama. 呃，就是如果给大家看这个奥巴马的照片 ，strong， 非常的强壮 ，thin， 呃，这个还有腰身 ，beautiful black hair， 头发是黑的，很漂亮 ，nice pigment to his black skin， 他的皮肤呢是呃紧绷有力 ，looks refreshed， 看起来很新鲜 ，no bags under his eyes， 眼睛下面没有眼袋 ，strength， 看起来是很有力量的。Eight years, seven years ago. But he's been president of the United States for six, seven years. He 当担任美国总统担任了六七年之后 You go look at a picture of what he looks like today. 你看看他今天的照片 Shoulders slumped a little bit. 呀，肩膀下垂 Bags under his eyes. 眼睛下面有眼袋 More gray hair than he had ever in his life. 他的白头发呢，从来没有这么多过 And the worries of the world on his shoulders. 整个世界的担呃，这个忧虑担忧都在他的肩膀上 Sleepless nights. 有多少睡不着的晚上 Hard decisions. 有多少难以下的决定 Burden of his soul. Because if I do this, all these people will be happy. These people will be happy. But in making them happy, I make all these people really mad. These people will be angry. And so he has to calculate. So he has to calculate. Do I really want to do this? 就是我到底要不要这样做 Because he is so motivated by shame. 因为呢，他的动机呢是羞愧感 Have you ever noticed that about our president? 你们有没有注意到，这就是我们总统的光景 You know how I know? 你知道我了解什么吗 Because he's trying to make everything equal. 因为呢，他想要使每一件事都公平 And the world is not equal. 可是世界不可能公平的 He's trying to make everything fair. 他要让每一件事情都很平等 And the earth is evil. 但是世界是邪恶的 It is never fair. 永远不可能平等 Because the world is under the leadership of the devil. 因为呢，整个世界是在那恶者的手下 And presidents who listen to him. 而总统呢，他听的就是恶者的声音 Yet it tells us. That Jesus went through a very specific process. This text also tells us that Jesus went through a very specific process. He's unafraid to break the seals to open the scroll. He doesn't fear to open the scroll to open the scroll. He doesn't fear to open the scroll to open the scroll. He loves people desperately. But he still loves people desperately. But he still loves people desperately. He's done much to tell them what he's going to do. He, he, he's done much to tell them what he's going to do. He, he, he's done much to tell them what he's going to do. He, he, he's done much to tell them what he's going to do. He, he, he's done much to tell them what he's going to do. He, he, he's done much to tell them what he's going to do. He, he, he's done much to tell them what he's going to do. He, he, he's done much to tell them what he's going to do. He, he, he's done much to tell them what he's going to do. He, he, he's done much to tell them what he's going to do. He, he, he's done much to tell them what he's going to do. He, he, he's done much to tell them what he's going to do. He, he, he's done much to tell them what he's going to do. He, he, he's done much to tell them what he's going to do
And he will break open the seals. Knowing that it will cause trouble. Because that's the type of leader that he is. What's qualified him? You are worthy because you were slain and you redeemed us to God through your blood. Out of every tribe and tongue. Verse 10. And you've made us a kingdom of priests. And we will reign with you. Three basic principles that I don't find in many leaders on the earth. He was obedient to his father's qualification process. In other words, he's trustworthy because he's a servant. Next, he died. He was obedient unto death. Most kings, when they're establishing their authority, they kill other people. They don't die. They get rid of their enemies by killing other people. How did Jesus establish his kingly authority? He didn't kill other people. He went to the cross. Who does that? And then it says, He redeemed us through His blood. In other words, we were in prison. We were in slavery. And to purchase us back for the Father, He used the currency of His blood. Most kings establish their financial authority through gold and silver. Jesus used his blood to establish his kingly authority. And using his blood to change our lives, he doesn't treat us as subservient slaves, but he calls us into partnership with himself. Come and rule and reign with me. So he's completely secure in who he is. Most kings of the earth don't let you sit down in their presence. You have to sit on the floor or kneel or something else. And for sure, they don't invite you into partnership and their leadership. When I saw this, I just thought, truly, you have established your authority in a different way. And I can trust you. I can trust you. And if I can trust you, I can submit to you. The secret of true authority and true security is how much I can trust the leadership of Christ, which enables me to live under his leadership, knowing that he treats me as a partner. I might be the weaker partner. I'm okay with that because I know I'm the weaker partner. I'm pretty clear on that. When I stand next to the Lord, I'm the weaker partner. But I'm a partner. That's the thing that's amazing to me. What he's done has brought me into partnership. 
他的作为竟然是要带领我进到跟他同行的伙伴。Not slavery. 而不是只是奴隶。When I see a leader like this. 当我看见这样一位领袖。I can trust him. 我能够信任他。So practically, this is what I started to do, and then we'll finish. So, uh, this, uh, this, practically, uh, this, 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 uh, Number one. 第一个 I thanked him. 我就感谢他 Thank you. 主啊，谢谢你 Thank you. 谢谢你 You redeemed me to God. 谢谢你赎回我归回给神 Secondly. 第二 I agree. 我认同 Not just thank you. 不只是感谢 I agree. 我认同 I belong to the Father now. 我现在是属于父了 I'm not my own. I don't belong to somebody else. I belong to God. Thirdly, give me more understanding. Reveal this to my heart. So that my heart trusts you more. Three things have been happening. My trust in his leadership is growing. 就是呢，我对他带领的信任呢，不断的成长。The security in his leadership is strengthening in my soul. 并且呢，在我内心里面，对他带领的安全感也不断的增加。And shame is being washed away. 并且呢，我的羞愧感不断的被洗除。Now I say these things to you. 我今天跟大家说这些事情。I know they're very simple. 我知道这些是很简单的。I know that I've talked for a long time. 那呃，这这个呢，我教导了很久。But as I faced the students， 但是呢，每当我看到学生。Uh, I saw shame in many of them. 我在他们当中看到很多的羞愧感。And I talked to them about that. 所以呢，我在这方面对他们有教导。I actually asked them this question. 我都会问他们这个问题。Do you have vision? 你有意向吗 ？That one day in your life. You would not be motivated by shame. 有一天你的生命不再被羞愧感所驱动。But you would be motivated by the goodness and the leadership of God. 而被神的带领和良善所驱动。That shame would not own you. 羞愧感不再拥有你。Can you have vision for that? 你可以对这样的一天有期待吗 ？My friends, my question to you is the same. 今天我也要给大家一样的问题。Because I'm asking myself these questions. 因为我自己也常常问我这些问题。Do we have vision? 我们是否有这样的期待 ？We could be a people. 有这样的意向，有一天我们可以这样成为这样的人。Walk before God without shame. 就是呢，能够毫无羞愧感的走在神的面前。That we could trust His leadership. 以致我们能够信赖神的带领。Because of what He's done to qualify. 因为呢，他已经做成，他已经配得。And through that trust, therefore, submit more. More to him. 而在这样的信任里面呢，我们也就能够更多的降服给他。Knowing he's calling us into deep partnership. 我们知道他要呼召我们进入跟他的同行，跟他的伙伴。Let's pray. 我们一起来祷告。Holy Spirit, come right now. 圣灵，请你来。Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. 天父，我奉耶稣的名祷告。I pray for an invitation. 祷告这样一个邀请。You would invite us in. 是你邀请我们进入的。We would have vision for a life without shame. 让我们能够进入这个没有羞愧感的生命。That it would come through trusting your leadership. 让我们能够全然的信任你的带领。Because you have revealed to us what you have done to qualify. 主啊，因为你已经向我们显明，你怎么样使你自己成为配得。He who dwells in the secret place. 那住在隐秘处的。Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. 也要住在全能者的荫下。And I will say of the Lord. 我要说
He is my refuge. He is my fortress. True security. True security. It's not a big bank account. It's not the greatest position of power. True security. It's not found in how many friends you can have. True security is not in your perfect health. Though all of these things the Lord is concerned about and wants to talk to us about. True security is found in one person and one person alone. It's found in the person of Christ. And the revelation that He wants to give you of what He has done to qualify what He has done to win your trust. He is infinite. We are finite. Only He can secure us. Father, right now, all across this room, ask in the name of Jesus that you would begin to arrest shame I ask that you would release a revelation of your son Jesus. That our eyes, the eyes of our hearts would see what you have done to qualify for leadership of the earth. We want to be secure. began with this simple prayer. It was in my mind, but it wasn't fully in my heart yet. And I offer it to you. Jesus, I trust you. And I just kept speaking it to him. I kept coming into agreement with it. Still, until it started to impact my soul. I trust your leadership. I trust your love for me. I trust your goodness. I trust your mercy. I just started adding phrases. Jesus, I trust you. Of kings, 
他是万王之王。And that he would say to us. 他会对我们这样说。Am I not trustworthy? 我还不够你信任吗？ Have I not been different than every other king of the earth? 我跟地上的君王还跟他们是相同的吗 ？Have I not proven myself good to you? 我不曾向你证明我是这么的良善吗 ？What is it that you can doubt in my goodness? 你还有什么好怀疑我的良善吗 ？Where have I not been good to you? 什么时候我不对你良善呢 ？Where have I not won? Your trust. But that you would know that I am trustworthy. That I am good. That I am worthy of your trust. Once again, I will come. And I will be good to you. I will be merciful to you. Because I love you. You are written on the palm of my hand. Your goodness, your good, is in my heart. No longer will it be a promise in heaven. But it will be a manifestation on the earth. I will show you that I am good. And I will again win your soul. I will again win your heart. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, I ask that you would release manifestation. On earth as it is in heaven. The promises that you have given. Many of them with years and years and years. I ask that they would manifest now on the earth. May many of us return home to new situations. New grace. New blessing. New position. New place in God. Father, we pray right now. That you would release. Your promise that it would be manifested on the earth. Take it from the realm of the spirit. And manifest it on the earth in real time. Father, this is what we request. Because it's in your heart to do so. Father, right now in Jesus' name. 天父奉耶稣的名。Thank you for your word that is true. 我为你的话语、你的真理来感谢你。In the name of Jesus. 奉耶稣的名。I bless you. 我要来称颂你。I pray that the Lord's face would shine upon you. 我祷我祷告主的脸光要照向你。That you would experience the light that comes from His smile. 你要经历从主脸上的笑容所发出的光。I pray in the name of Jesus. 我祷告奉耶稣的名。That your mind would have new clarity. 你的心里会有新的看见。That your heart would have new understanding. 你的心思会清楚，你的灵力会明白。I bless you in the name of Jesus. 我奉耶稣的名祝福你。That the eyes of your understanding. 你悟心的眼睛。Would see him in a new way. 要用新的方式来看见他。Would value him in a new way. 我用新的方式来来来来评估他。I bless you in the name of the Lord. 我奉耶稣的名来祝福你。With an increase of the presence of Holy Spirit on your life. 圣灵要更多的在你生命当中。I pray right now. 我现在祷告。And I bless you. Right now, with an increase of dreams and vision, 祝福你有更多的意向，更多的异梦。Holy Spirit activity on your life. 圣灵更多的工作在你生命当中。Some of you have been asking for this. 你们当中有些人祈求要这些。That there would be an increase of Holy Spirit activity. 是的，圣灵的这些的作为要在你生命当中加增。Right now, in Jesus' name. 奉耶稣的名，现在来到。I bless you with it. I release it. 我
I agree to it. And I bless you in the name of the Lord. With a new place of peace with God. And a new area and a new realm of peace with men. That you would be at peace. Internal peace. That comes by trusting his leadership. A new place. That you would be at rest and at peace. We'll pray for these things. And bless you with these things. In Jesus' name. Amen.